What is going on guys? Welcome back to a brand new video. Today is already the last day of the explanation series where I talk about the 2017 workout routine that I made for you guys and for myself pretty much. Um, but we're gonna go over day number five and we're just gonna start and go right into it. Today is the second day we're doing chest, shoulders and biceps and today is focused a little bit more on the lower reps as we did in day number four. So the first exercise we're going to do is flat dumbbell presses. We have two warm-up sets, five working sets with six repetitions each. Um, then we move on to incline dumbbell press, five working sets, six repetitions each, and then um, an incline dumbbell fly. Um, also with drop sets, five sets, and then we have 12 reps on the flies. Um, now, let's go over it. As you can see here, I wanted to show a little bit of my foot placement. So as you can see, I placed my foot uh, my feet a little bit more backwards and firmly on the ground. My heels are on the ground. That way I have a lot of stability and the the way I place my feet a little bit back gives me a little bit of an arch in the back, which is also very good and uh, helps us target the chest a little bit better. Um, the incline, we do the incline on a 45 degree angle, so two slots up, uh, depending on what kind of bench you have, uh, but it's a 45 degree angle incline. Not too steep, uh, and not too flat. So we really, really want to hit the upper chest in this in this exercise. Uh, the upper chest is very, very uh, an interesting thing because a lot of people do skip it for some reason. And uh, it's very, very important to do to make your chest look full. And obviously, my chest doesn't look full at all right now because I'm recovering and stuff like that. But uh, we're trying our best to recover that. Uh, as well with this, as you can see, my feet are a little bit placed backwards and my toes are pointing outwards. Uh, that's just a personal preference. I wouldn't stress anything on that too much. Um, but as you can see, my lower back has an arch in it. It doesn't touch um, the bench. The only points of you know contact on the bench are my shoulders where I retract my scapula and my butt and then my heels on the ground pretty much. So um, we also add a drop set to the incline dumbbell presses and the incline flies. Uh, we just do one drop set at the end, we drop the weight like 50 or 60% and then um, we'll go from there and try to do um, up till failure. Uh, with this, with failure, obviously you do it as much as possible without a spotter and then that way you just burn out completely the whole, you know, muscle. Uh, in this case, the upper chest pretty much, the, the chest, you pretty much burn out the chest. So uh, then we move on. Originally we were doing uh, incline dumbbell flies but um, I really wanted to do some cable flies today and that's why I switched to cable flies with this one. Uh, with the flies I don't really see that much of a difference. A cable fly is a little bit easier to control and especially in my case with the shoulder thing uh, I wanted to, you know, this was easier for me and felt more natural and more safe. So I chose the cables but you can do uh, the dumbbells as well. Uh, five sets, 12 repetitions, so a lot more reps than the previous exercises. And this way, we're really, you know, we're trying to end today's chest session with a bang, and we want to really burn out the chest. And we do that with the flies. Uh, then we move on to some shoulders. We superset front raises and side raises. Now, shoulder supersetting is something I've done since the beginning, that since I started training pretty much, because. For me, with shoulders, the, the pump is such, you know, the, the pump is so important to me with shoulders. I feel like it hits the best when I do supersets. I feel drained, I feel like full of blood and like completely done after. Uh, so that's why I really like to do um, supersets. But also, we have a pretty stacked day today. So in for time purposes, we uh, a superset is also very, very nice to do. Uh, we superset, as I said, front raises with side raises. With side raises, I try to keep um, my pinkies out or even upwards and I try to control the weight up and down without using any momentum uh, at all. I'm not using my legs, I'm not using anything else but the side deltoids, the medial delts, whatever. Um, and then the third exercise for shoulders is the single arm dumbbell presses standing. Uh, this takes a little bit of practice if you've never done it before. Uh, these are very very good. Um, with this one is very very important at least in my case to really squeeze the abs tight and make sure you have a good balance when doing this exercise it's quite a hard exercise as I said to do if you've never done it before as you can see me smiling I have a lot of fun uh, but we do this exercise three sets eight repetitions as well as the front and side raises uh, we do the three sets eight repetitions each 
Um, the reason why it's a little bit lower in volume is because, and we did the chest in high volume, and also because my shoulders are not my priority to, tr to really grow, as they are pretty much overpowering my chest at this point, so uh, for me it's not the priority to do. Then we move on, uh, we added one exercise today, I was training with a friend um, and we wanted to do an easy bar curls for biceps, so we added that in, you don't have to do that, it's not a part of the plan, but um, if you feel like doing it, whatever, you go and do that. So uh, easy bar curls, very very easy exercise, there is, um, you know, keep your elbow stationary and, and rotate around it, as I said before in like, numerous videos, it's very important to not use momentum when doing biceps. Um, the weight does not matter one bit when doing uh, biceps, in my opinion. It's more about, you know, f really feeling the squeeze and, and we, you know, at the end, when I feel the squeeze really well, I feel like I train biceps really, really well. Um, again, biceps isn't my priority with this split. It's more triceps, but um, obviously you have to keep training biceps. Now, this is the thing that was in the plan. It's the cable curl. Um, which your preferred handle if you'd like the straight bar or, or a curved bar or even a rope you can do all that and we superset that with wall curls now wall curls by the way we both do this four sets um, with eight repetitions but wall curls are very very you know it's a fairly new exercise I haven't seen many people do it before uh, but pretty much you keep your sh uh, shoulders and your elbows against the wall and you curl it's completely it's so painful at the peak, the peak of your biceps. This is definitely some exercise I, you know, I recommend you guys doing. I, I know the lighting sucks right now. I, it's kind of annoying, but uh, the wall curls definitely, definitely try that out. But make sure you always keep your elbows to the wall. Uh, that way, you really, you know, focus on that bicep peak. You isolate it completely, and it's. One of, the, one of the favorite exercises that I've done recently for biceps. So uh, that's going to be it for day five. If you want to do a workout routine, you can download it for free in the description. Just try it out. Maybe you want to change up some things. Maybe you want to keep it that way. Uh, let me know what you guys think. Thank you for watching this whole series. You can watch every single video in the playlist. The link is going to be in the description as well. And uh, again, thank you for watching. And I'll talk to you in the next video. Yeah.